flow. So hit Sam again. Uh, let me make sure my sound is on. Okay, yeah, it is. Um, so I wanted to show uh, this rig that I've continued developing. Um, so this is an evolution of that arm that I showed off the other day, where I've made a system to kind of control how this character moves. Um, so a lot of this is like procedural in the sense that there's a, a system designed to um, kind of calculate where things would be positioned. So you can kind of see, let me get a better angle. I know the this is probably pretty laggy right now. Um, I'm just on my laptop and it's barely handling this. But you know, you can you can see that you know it positions it just like the arm before. But now I've got this whole body uh, to to use as well. So there's five five of those arms here. I have one for the torso, two for the legs, two for the arms, and they all work pretty much the same way. But they can work in conjunction. So I know this looks really bizarre right now. Let me go ahead and turn off this wireframe here. And you can kind of get a feel for this character moving around and changing and stuff. Um, and this will be the basis of um, some more advanced stuff that I make as I go along. Yeah, so all the limbs work kind of as you'd expect. So here's this leg, you know, and just to kind of Basically, each limb I'll be able to position so it's facing the camera. Or basically, I'll make a skeleton animation. It'll be super rough looking, kind of ugly. But then I'll go in and start tweaking things and changing them so that um, using these like little circles right here, I can point it at the, the right direction. Just tweak it so all the arms, planes, and all the limb planes are facing the camera um, perpendicularly. So that's the general idea. This is where it's evolved to. Hopefully this video isn't terribly laggy. My computer is really slow right now. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for round two updates. And uh, tune in. I'll probably have another update next week sometime around then. But see you then. Bye.